Hello and today's video we are going to introduce you with the ESP32 based dashboard for WebSocket connection and here you can see our zero client is connected and it is getting the temperature readings and this temperature reading is updated from ESP32 uh, with the free RTOS uh, task which is continuously generating uh, the sensor reading and sending it to the React dashboard with the help of free RTOS. So let's get started and see how we done with that. The problems which I face is that uh, this was the code which I tried where I created the separate tasks for everything. Uh, but it was continuously breaking the stack and uh, there were some errors which were not letting the ESP32 to stabilize. I tried to upload the code multiple times and this is the library which I use from the GitHub and uh, with a simple git clone I included it into my uh, ESP Arduino libraries and um, I created a new React project with white and uh, with the weight this was the template and I just simply press the yes and from this menu I selected the react because I created this application with react and with the plain JavaScript. Now we have an error to update over NPM. We can it or we leave it for future. Uh, but if you want to update your NPM you can simply use this command but make sure your node version is also updated with this. Now we have to navigate to the folder we just created. In my case, it was uh, this folder name uh, and I navigated to it. Now I need to open a Visual Studio code inside that. And uh, first of all, I need to um, do the npm install, then npm run dev. And uh, if I want to host it with the uh, IP address, I can use the uh, host uh, argument with that and these are some uh, files c removing commands if you want to use that but I will leave it and change them manually. Uh, this also provided a quick code that you can test and uh, if you want to build it you can simply run the command npm run build. So that's how you create a react project. My npm install is finished. I just run the npm run dev and now my development server is running on this IP address. I can copy uh, this URL and paste it into my browser and here I will see a plain uh, white and react based application. I will simply uh, terminate this and open a Visual Studio code by code dot and it will open my project here. I will simply go to the SRC folder and will open the app dot js file. I will remove everything inside this folder in uh, this file and uh, I will leave uh, the plain simple h1 tag which will indicate the hello world. So it means my application is running perfectly and as expected. Now I can save it and just go back, open the terminal and inside the terminal I simply have to type the npm run dev. This will again open a development server. I will keep it running and will continuously update my react code. Now I come back to here and refresh. Yes, hello world is working perfectly. So uh, this is a updated code which I quickly copy pasted and uh, it is simply uh, using the connection disconnection and a title heading and whose div to uh, update the temperature and humidity and one variable uh, to update the is connection state. Now I change the CSS, remove all the CSS and this is how it goes and I update the CSS and uh, this updated CSS will uh, change the look of my dashboard 
and you will notice a freshly um, dashboard with a pretty good cards and yes it is uh, looking closer uh, now let's center it by simply uh, updating the root access and uh, the CSS we I simply created a width and then auto margin and a simple pairing uh, will do the trick to center all of my dashboard so now coming back I can further uh, create a color theme and I will just simply change it to DHT11 to a WebSocket and it will say that WebSocket sensor dashboard now I'm going to change uh, the color scheme and I will match the color scheme with a react logo so it will feel more uh, reactive so that here you can see that I updated the color theme and again centered it with by updating the root CSS now I can also update a simple animation on is connect connect and disconnect I simply recommend this code and update this code with this span and I will come to the CSS section and add a little bit of keyframes uh, to blink the connection and disconnection states so this is the CSS which will update all my code with a keyframes and a fresh blinking look on my connect and disconnect status it will give me feel uh, more alive as you can see um, it feels more alive and the hover effect is good so so far it works uh, good now we will test it with our hardware I open my new code and I change it and uh, I will try to re-upload the code and here you can see the IP address of my ESP32 I will go and uh, now uncomment comment all of my uh, WS WebSocket related use effect and uh, I will change the IP address and will update that IP address with my ESP32 and here you can see uh, the client is connected and it is continuously updating and for the ESP32 code, what we done, we created a simple, we included the header files and after that we created over SSID and password. Uh, we created some uh, variables to define the minimum and maximum range of the temperature to deflect from and we initialize a WebSocket instance on the port of 81 and uh, keep in mind that this is the same port number which we are using inside this so after the colon and 81 this is a port number which we are using and uh, this should be the same and next we created a send task and uh, we created initial values for temperature and humidity inside a send data task what we do we created a payload of fixed 32 byte array and then we created two random temperature and humidity values after that we uh, round them off and then simply generated a string with the sprintf function and after that we send it via websocket.broadcast.txt function and then we wait for a 2000 uh, millisecond delay which is to update every two seconds inside the setup what we created we simply connected with the Wi-Fi then we uh, printed the IP address to uh, the serial port and we initialized the web socket and uh, we pr every time when a client is uh, connected we print the client ID starting from zero and uh, we created an index using a free RTOS um, then inside a loop we created websocket.loop okay so although uh, we uh, did uh, only one task creation uh, which is not an ideal thing here we can shift the Wi-Fi connectivity inside another task and we can also uh, do and create another task for websocket.loop or we can keep it here inside the loop function 
and uh, we can also create uh, when we are reading an actual dst11 we will shift that reading process into a separate thread and we'll pass the mutex uh, with the semaphore and uh, then we will uh, update the reading and send the new reading 